All right, Shalom, Shalom, Brother Kadash. Shalom, Alright, start off by giving our praises to Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Yahweh Yep, so we just finna hop straight into it. Really ain't even got no title right now, but you see the picture, which cuz is on the phone, but you got the picture that I sent to you, right? So in this picture, I mean just look at the picture, man. The picture says a thousand words, man. Look at this shit. You got a Edomite woman, even though it's another officer out there, he a Jake too. But you got the Edomite woman, the Edomite system, the police system, which comes from, you know, um, the slave patrols. You know, they used to catch the slaves and, and control the slaves. That's where the police force comes from here in America. You got these uh, brothers with fringes on standing over the top of they bro of another brother with fringes on. We say we all believe in the Lord and they call on the police on this brother to subdue this brother after they already subdued him face to the ground. This is a Hebrew Israelite brother face to the ground and he finna go to jail, man. So it's, it's, it's a lot of different layers that we got to unpack. This is just crazy. Just the image, man. Me personally, if they was going to subdue them, they should have just let them get up and let them go, man. And just deal with whatever come with it and put your trust in the Lord. I'm not going to call the enemy. I'm definitely not going to call the devil, period, man. If if um, I just put my faith in the Lord. But that just goes to show you when all hell break loose, right? And the MOTB is implemented. You know, a lot of these dudes going to be going with law enforcement. And they're going to be going to those FEMA camps because they just going to gonna tell their congregation to do it because it's just the right thing to do, man. What the fuck we going to call the devil for? You know what I mean? Against our own, against one of our own, our own brothers. Call Esau. Y'all sit out here on the highways of always and say Esau's a demon, Esau's a devil. But when you get in trouble, you're calling on the devil to help you? How does that make any sense? Now... This all could have been prevented, man. Now, everybody want to put blame on ISUPK. No, it's blame on IUIC because they touched the brother's chair. My property is an extension of me. Just like if you sleep with a man's wife, that's adultery. That's an extension of that man. You don't touch another man's property. If y'all got speakers, you move your speaker back. You take what you got to take and you take it and you take it away. They putting ice coolers behind a brother, turning their speakers towards those brothers. I don't know who was up there first, but he exhalated it when he touched the guy's property. So when you exhalated, you can't tell me how far to take it. He touched the guy's property and the guy pushed him. If you come up and touch my property, I'm going to push you too. Get, what is you doing? And then he pushed them back, and that's where the fight started. It wasn't the guy in the red shirt that it was his fault. But whoever fault it was, it don't matter, right? So there's certain ways that you got to handle this, which one of the ways is uh, we spoke about this at camp. Hey, Quinan, you got something to speak? Say on that. Uh, no, whenever you're done, I just got a precept. Um, not the one. Like, I just thought of another one. Okay. And I, and I thought this is a good one. So just let me know, and then I'm going to shoot that precept. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Shoot it. Okay, this is uh, Romans 16 and 17. It says, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. And, and, and I feel like that's a good um, precept because the doctrine don't, don't um, the truth, I'm going to say the truth, right, which all of us um, could say that we are in, right, or do say that we in, we're talking about the truth, it don't give you no example, like the Lord don't command you, now if you got a brother or if you got an, um, a situation with a brother, and you have to call the police and hold him down and let, no, it don't, it don't he don't give us orders to, to handle situations amongst each other like that yeah. so that causes division you know what I mean, yeah. and, and it says mark those brothers who does that you yeah. know what I mean, and that's now that's agent behavior that's agent behavior, bro. I was just gonna, I was gonna speak on it. I mean, I mean, what you guys are supposed to be training to teach the Bible? These niggas is trained like a militant group. They, you see how they handled the situation, and I get them credit after the fact they handled the situation good. They didn't hurt the brothers. They didn't stump them out as they coulda. So they handled the situation good. But it's almost like they trained. Where the fuck is they getting this training from? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear you. yeah. They should. I feel like they should have. Like if they would have. If if the police should have, if the police would arrive, if the police when the police should have, when, when the police arrived, it should have been at the hands of somebody else walking around like some 
Nigel out of ten chance probably some Edomite might man or woman walking around who seek the con- seek the conversation and called the police. Them brothers actually called the police. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like it should it just shouldn't have been handled like that. They should have probably subdued him, kept him subdued until he calmed down, if anything. Mm-hmm. And then once he calmed down, then they gotta let him up. Yep. Now ain't no telling if after they let him up, if the fight wouldn't have went back on, but we still wouldn't handle it with the police, though. Yeah, yeah. And that's something we learn young, man. You know, you, you and your brother get to fight, and do you call the enemy on your brother? No, y'all handle it, and nine times out of ten, somebody going to calm down. You know, but calling the law, just look at the image. The Edomite woman with her knee on a Hebrew Israelite brother's back while his face is to the ground. And other Hebrew Israelites, see, this is the problem with the camp shit. And then they think that we got a problem with camps. We ain't got no problem with camps. We think it should just be one camp. That one camp is the Hebrew Israelites. It shouldn't be all these break off factions of camps, man. The Lord didn't run around calling himself IUIC. The Lord didn't call himself ISUPK. You know, so you guys are banging. This is banging for these camps, man. And this shit is bullshit. The only time you should be calling the police is if you get into like a civil accident. It was a car accident. In order to get your insurance, you have to make a police report. That makes sense. You see what I'm saying? But something criminal on your own brothers that's in the truth? What was they going to do? If they ran back up, right, then they would have just got subdued again. You got six men to one man out there. So nine times out of ten, if y'all would have let them up, they would have walked off talking shit. You see what I'm saying? Or y'all would have left. You hear me, Kona? Yeah, I hear you. Um, I just be muted like when I'm not talking. I muted. You got so therefore I don't a, a whole bunch of background information. Don't give in the video, but yeah. Um, you got that other precept, the one that we was using at camp, because that goes perfect. We just we just talking about this at camp. How to oh, handle yeah, these uh, things? So this is what should be done after this matter, so it doesn't escalate. So other things don't happen behind this. We about to read it straight from the Bible of what should happen after this, man. I think IUIC, on the record, me personally, I think IUIC started it because they touched the chair. That chair is a part of their camp. Now look, now, now, look at it. All their 12 tribes chart is all over the street. They speakers are all over the street because he touched his chair. He should have been commanded. I would have commanded my guys, if, if we was in a position like that, hey, don't touch nothing of theirs. And they better not touch nothing of ours. I mean, that's that's like, that's basic shit. Everybody know that. Look, don't touch me. You can say whatever you want. Just don't touch, right? Uh, That's basic shit, man. You got that precept? You got it. Yeah. Um, which one? Uh, was it the one in... Um, yeah, 17. Do the moderate 17. Okay, yeah. Uh, I got it. It's um, right here. Starting at verse um, 8. Um, if there arise a matter too hard for thee in judgment between blood and blood, between plea and plea, and between stroke and stroke, being matters of controversy within thy gates, then shalt thou arise and get thee up into the place which the Lord God shall choose. Mm-hmm. Come on, devil. Yeah, keep going. Yeah. And thou shalt come unto the priests and the priests, the Levites, and unto the judge that shall be in those days and inquire, and they shall shew thee the sentence of judgment. Yep. So that's what should happen, you know. Really, during this time, all they could do is. Is they elders sit down and make a sound decision. But you know how that works. One side going to say, going to go for their side. The other side going to go for their side. Hopefully it's not that way. But this shit been going on for 30, 40, 50 years. Them beefing like this, man. And this is eventually all that talking shit on the internet. Teaching out of strife. Every video I go to of a a certain person channel is always them talking about some shit. But then when somebody come to their camp, a big swole dude in person, then they getting scared. All that shit, that's what that's what this shit is going to lead to. We done seen this shit growing up, man. How do you think gang wars start off? It starts off with high school kids fighting. Pulling up, I pull up. We flood you. We flood you at the basketball game. And then next thing you know, they fighting outside of school. And then next thing you know, somebody get killed, stabbed up, or shot. And now it's just all out a killing spree. It's, it's black ops in the street. That's how all this shit started, man. And we going to go even further into what these devils is doing, man, because, hey, I'm not putting nothing on nobody, but I'm just saying I'm just pointing out some some things, man. You think Esau ain't been tracking all these groups 
You think you could pull a, a thousand men up to the Staples Center in L.A. and you scaring small hats from getting off buses? And you think Esau ain't got a task? We just talked about this earlier. You don't, you don't think Esau got a task force, man, that's dedicated to watching the move of all the big groups of the Hebrew Israelites? You think Esau won't do something like this, store something like this? So they could subdue, so they could take these men down to, to prison, and you're like, oh well, when you go down to the precinct, we just talking about this earlier. Before you can even leave, they gotta process you in, man. And before and before they process you in, I mean, they need it. They need your name. They want your address, phone numbers. They looking up who your siblings is. They they looking up where you work. They gonna take your fingerprints. They looking up your medical history. Because they can have a liability if you got something on your medical history and depending on how they treat you. So they looking up all that shit, man. Esau could be behind this. You just see two camps going at each other, man. You don't know what Esau commanded one of these camps to do. Esau coming, man. You got it. Uh, hold on. I'm trying to pull up this preset now. Yep. Esau coming, man. And this, I'm just saying this look like some Edomite plenty behavior. These men were very well trained, man. You gotta look. You gotta look at everything. You gotta look between the smoke and mirrors, man. You gotta be able to look through the smoke. You know, everything ain't what it seems, man. Things be planned, man. You know, you got police, man. That's infiltrated. You seen the movie Judas and the Black Messiah? That could start some shit like this, man. Hey, I'm finna go over there and touch his chair when he pushed me. We all going. And then after that, we're going to call the police and then the police could come down here and take them to jail and get all the information they need on them. Yeah, man, you better be careful, man. Shit's going to get real, man. You got something to say, Kona? Yeah, uh, that's Romans 14 and 13. It says, let us not, therefore, judge one another anymore, but judge this rather, that no man put a stumbling block or an occasion to fall in his brother's way. And that's just what the brother was going into when he was saying, like, so now that they held him down, excuse me, he was held down by another brother, another Israelite brother who, in the truth, they're out there preaching the Bible. I'm pretty sure they know these precepts that we bring them out, and they know that the Lord frowned upon how they handled that situation as far as getting somebody else in the other, um, from another nation, you know, to, to, uh, to, to give the last judgment and that just made me think of another precept too i'm gonna bring it up but i gotta find it but um and so so now you gotta go down to the precinct you know what i'm saying get his fingerprints and now bond out you know so all of that you know so all of that just that's a stumbling block that you just put in that brother's way you know because of the way that y'all chose to handle it yeah that's you know a I mean? that's a burden on that brother's life now because he might not have the money to bond out or he might miss a couple days of work just sitting in there and lose his job and he can't feed his family. Now, I you see you got if that happens, you got to step up and take care of those things for that brother. Because this was nothing but just a scuffle between brothers. I mean, whether you want to point the finger at whoever, they both groups in the wrong cuz it could have been handled different by both groups. But at the end of the day, you can't come touch another man's property at the same time. That's a fact. If he got his property there and there's already tension in the air because y'all teaching next to each other, don't touch nothing up there because we don't want them to be able to blame nothing on us. And the dude, Sonetta is a devil, so don't lift, don't listen to Sonetta trying to blame it on the guy in the red shirt. Because even the people that was out there, they would say, look, man, y'all finna take them to jail. And all they was trying to do is get their chair. Yeah, they was getting their chair because you coming over here touching my chair. I'm finna come over here and see what you do with my chair. This is a part of our camp, man. We got these chairs set around, so we got boundaries. You finna come and move our boundaries. Like, who who are you to come move our boundaries? If you want to talk about what's right or wrong, but then the IUIC is right in the way they handle it because they could have stumped the brothers out. They didn't do that, right? They didn't seriously hurt them. But then they wrong because then you call the enemy on, on your brothers. The enemy, man, the devil, bro. The devil could have came out there just shooting and killed one of them. You can't put anything past this, this devil, Esau. So, so who picked up the phone and called 911, man? That guy needs to be suspended or something, man. We would never do that, man. See, y'all ain't got faith in the Lord. Y'all ain't got faith in the Lord, man. But we, me and Quentin, I was talking about this earlier today, man, that 
this is the Lord doing this. This ain't just randomly happening, man. You don't know what the Lord finna start doing. Looks like judgment is finna start being set. With the camps. That's what it looked like. You got something for that? Seventeen, fifteen. I feel like this goes. I feel like this, this, this kind of goes with it. Um, but you know, some might say that it's not. But um, this Deuteronomy seventeen and fifteen: Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy God shall choose. One from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. And, you know, when he subdued him and had him pinned down, kept him down until the police arrived, you know what I'm saying, and then handed him over, that's pretty, I mean, I feel like, what you think, um, well, how it, do you feel like that's kind of going in? Yeah, because in a way, it's like authority. It's just talking about who you should. When it says set over you, it's giving authority to this over you. So we only can make a king over us that's an Israelite that come from the bloodline, the sea line of the man Israel. Right. So but even if you just look at it in the authority way, um, they had authority over the situation because they had them subdued. But then they gave up their authority to give the police authority over them. You see what I'm saying? Over your own brother. And that's called divided and conquered. And this is why we're so weak right now. Because of the this camp banging shit. These is like the two biggest camps right here. So because of this camp banging shit, it's keeping us divided. But people uh, think we got a problem with camps. We ain't got no problem with camps, man. It's just we should be one camp, which is the Hebrew Israelites. But when you separate yourselves with this group and that group, you always going to have contention, man. You always going to have competition. You always going to have... Um, strife and envy whenever you separate yourself into different groups like that that's why we should be one group which is the hopeful elect of Israel man but when you put a name on it and say us us 10 brothers over here we're ABC and then and then and then the other brothers over here say we um you know we XYZ now there's going to be some competition between XYZ and ABC because now they're repping for their groups that's why that's wickedness, man. And just like the brother read that mark them that caused division. You are causing division by dividing yourself into groups away from the rest of Israel, man. Because we don't know who the elect is. But they don't see it. But now these things are happening. And the Lord are making these things happen. So you can see he made them look foolish. The two biggest Hebrew Israelite groups out there. He made them look foolish on camera. Everybody's talking about this and have this on their channel. So the Lord making them look foolish now. So you're going to see these things, man. What I personally think is going to happen is um, a lot of yeah, these. I might, I might be going to lose service. I just want to let you know. Okay. A lot of these big camps going to be destroyed. And then the the people that survive out of that, that don't get destroyed from different camps, that's going to be the elect. They going to have no choice but to come together, man. Because they going to be few. Like it says in 2nd Andrews chapter 15. Another man should, should you know want to hear another man's voice. It should be 10 left in the city. So that means that these, these, these groups and these strongholds are going to be cast down man. And then what you're going to be left with is. Whoever's left around from these different groups. One IUIC member. One GMS. One Sakari. They going to have to just come together man. Because of the numbers. Especially the uh, persecution that's about to come. You good, cuz? Handle your business. I got you. All right, Shalom. All right, Shalom. Yeah, so you finna see these things. I got a precept. Let me find it real quick. I had cool now. Find it. This shit is sick, man. This shit is sad how we doing each other. Just look at the image. So, see, this is the great thing about having an image. It's like you can have um your opinion on the thing, right? On a situation that happened. Because there's a lot of different moving pieces. Did he really touch the chair? Or he was just trying to move the chair an inch. We don't know if he was going to move the chair an inch. He went over to the chair. He could have picked the chair up and took it with him. We don't know what he was going to do with the chair. He could have picked up the chair and did a WWE slam on the brother in the red shirt head. We don't know what he was going to do with the chair. But he was going over there to the chair, man. So he shouldn't have been over there reaching for his chair. It's just that simple, man. I'm not part of neither one of these groups. I'm just calling it down the middle. But there's so much bias within Israel. So much bias within within Israel. Right? I'm just calling it straight down the middle. And I'm just pointing out some suspect things too. I ain't putting nothing on nobody. But this ain't the way to handle it. Now, the way that they subdue the brothers, they did a good job. 
but calling the the Esau, the Edomites, the the you can't preach no more about them being the devil, and then you call them. Now you call in the devil's number to come to do a brother. You let the Lord deal with it. You pray to the Lord that okay, when we let them up, hopefully they don't run back up. If they run back up, we gonna have to subdue them again. And then after after this whole thing, you're supposed to forgive them. They're supposed to forgive each other. How many times are you supposed to forgive your brother? 70, 7 times 70. Or, yeah, roughly paraphrased, you gotta, they got to forgive each other. But we know that's not going to happen. We know it's going to be a thousand videos made from each side. And there might, there might be some more altercations of, if the leaders don't get in touch with each other. You don't do these brothers like they fucking nothing shit. But that's how we look at each other if if you're not a part of my group. And by the way, don't talk to no other groups. Don't don't talk to them. Don't interact with them. Nothing. These are brothers. How could how can you listen to a man that's telling you not to interact with your brothers? As you supposed to. Now you're just cutting each other off, which is going to do what? It's just going to cause more division, which is going to do what? Make us even weaker. And that's why the Lord making them look foolish, man. This shit's crazy, man. This is Matthew chapter 10, verse 17. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to consuls, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. See, this is delivering them up, man. That little scuffle, man, that shit wasn't nothing really big. But now it is big because now they in Esau's hands. And Esau's the goddamn devil. You can't trust them with nothing, man. They delivered them up to consuls, man. It says, and ye should be brought before governors and kings for my sake for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. So now what if one of these brothers get taken out to the precept? What's that girl named Sandra? Um, I forgot her last name. And she was in custody and then she was found dead in custody. And then one of these brothers um, just come up mysteriously dead in custody. And then the, and then the devil tell you that he had... Um, allergic reaction or he had um, some type of disability or something like that that caused the death. Now we got to trust this devil's word. That's crazy, man. That's a crazy picture right there. Image too, right? Now, um, but when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak for it shall be given you in the same hour what ye shall speak. So what if the Lord, I mean, what if the Lord got the, because the Lord controls everything left hand right hand right so what if these Edomites got a certain group the police the, the governor got his hands within a certain group if you know what I mean and he told this group to do these things and start doing these things so they could start having a reason to arrest other groups see <laughs> shit be smoking in mirrors man shit be smoking smoke mirrors man you got to be careful. Shit is very tricky out here. We don't know. We got to see. Right. But it says. Um, For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of the father which speaketh in you. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death. So it's saying, look, a brother is going to deliver up another brother to death. What are you seeing right here, man? Now, we pray that don't happen. It says in the father, the child. And the children shall rise up against the parents and cause them to be put to death. You finna see this even happening at the homes, man. And ye should be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endured to the end, the same shall be saved. But when they persecute you in this city, flee ye into another one. So if they persecute it and the beef keeps going or whatever, one of them got to leave, man. Go into another city. You know, this ain't about, this my camp. I'm going to be here all the way until Yahweh I come back. I'm going to be in this same spot. Ain't nobody going to move me. That's not how it happens, man. The Bible tells us, be ye pilgrims upon the earth. You got to move from location to location to location and keep moving. That's how the disciples of old taught. They didn't just set up in the same place and just be there forever. You know, it says, for verily I say unto you, ye should not have gone over the cities of Israel to the Son of Man become. There's a lot of different places where you could teach at. So this situation should never happen. If it was us and they did that to us and came and started teaching with us, you know, we would have stopped camp. We would have talked to whoever was the leader of the other camp. And we just said, man, what is we doing here? This is foolishness. What is going on, man? Y'all see us teaching here. We can't teach her together. What is going on, man? 
if they if they if they would have said, man, look, this ours, we taking this, we want the band, we would have just laughed at them and we would have just picked our stuff up and went down a little bit and said, man, look, they some clowns and went down a little bit. That's it. Or or go to the next block, man. It's really nothing you could do about it. And you got to remember, you just a vessel. You just a vessel for the Lord, man. This ain't about us. See, this stuff will happen because they made it about them, not about the Lord. Because if you look at if you look at it from is this about the Lord, then the twelve tribes charts are face down on the floor, on the on the ground. The truth is not coming out no more. They are subdued. The truth ain't coming out, so they made this about them and not the Lord, man. So we gotta we gotta swallow our pride and say, man, look, this ain't about us, man. We we mad. We want to fight because they taking our spot, but this ain't about us. You see what I'm saying? This is about the Lord. So let's just go down here so we can finish doing the work of the Lord. Then we might come back out somewhere different so they can stop fucking with us. Then we'll figure out, go back to the drawing board. We'll come back and maybe we'll contact them and say, hey, what y'all did down there, that wasn't cool. You see what I'm saying? But these are supposed to be grown, man. These are supposed to be men that's been in the truth decades, some of them. These are the men that's supposed to be our teachers or leaders. Look how they acting. Look at the men that we look up to that's been in the truth even longer than that. Half a decade, half a century. Look what they do. They just get on the internet and talk shit about people all day, every video. And these are the men that's supposed to be the example that we look up to. They can't even come together because of past issues. Issues that happened 20, 30 years ago is keeping them separated to, together. And these are supposed to be the men that we look up to. These are the men that's supposed to gather the elect. They're supposed to be apostles, teachers. And then you got men under them that lie, man. I seen a dude come on his video and say, um, yeah, here at this camp, you know, we don't slander because they were getting slandered. And I said, that's a bald faced fucking lie. Y'all definitely slander. 100% and could prove it with multiple incidents of y'all slandering your camp. So what did you see? So what I'm realizing is this ain't real to a lot of these guys. These guys are in this because of gang affiliation, camp affiliation for different reasons. But they're not really in, the, in this for the Lord. And those guys are going to be exposed here pretty soon. The truth is going to come out. These guys are going to start being exposed, man. They're not really in this for the Lord, man. That, we really in this for the Lord. You want to know how you know? Because we could go out there with not being a part of no camp. And we could just go out there just me and Quinnot and just teach every week. Why are we doing that? There's there's no other benefit except for for the Lord. There's no other as why we're doing that. It was except for the Lord. A lot of these dudes can't. If they not part of a camp, they pretty much gonna fall out the truth. It's a lot of weird, wild claims and things being said. It's a complete mess right now. We praying to the Lord. I've been praying to the Lord, wondering like, you know, just for the answers of what's going on right now. It's a lot of mess right now, and a lot of things are being exposed right now that you got to keep a lookout for, man. And these incidents just randomly happen. You randomly wake up one day and then an the incident like this happened. The Lord finna start bringing that judgment down, man, on the house of Israel. And he gonna start with the man that's, that's out there teaching. The man that he gave gifts to first. He finna come and start taking those gifts and taking those crowns off, man. That don't really deserve it, man. That's been in the way. Because the Lord finna make this thing happen for us. That's what I believe. And he finna bring together the elect. So, in order, so you can't bring together the elect because... Um, you got men that's in the way, so he got to remove those men that's in the way. You just got to pray that you're not one of the men in the way. At the end of the day, just because of commandments of man that you learn. Just because you're loyal to a creation more than a creator. So that's what's about to happen, man. This is a bad image, man. A very bad image because that's not the rest of the Edomites, just that one woman. When they get down to the precinct for booking, there's a whole lot more Edomites there that they go, that they finna have to deal with. They coming in there with fringes on their shirt. How you think the Edomites within the jail that they finna go to or the precinct that they finna go to gonna treat them? They've been waiting to get their hands on them. And they just got delivered up by their own brothers. Matter of fact, I want to read this one precept once back again because it's the perfect precept really and i'm just gonna leave it there matthews 10 verse 21 and the brother should deliver up the brother to death i just want to stop right there and the brother should deliver up the brother to death this is only a little small piece of what you about to start seeing um brothers get delivered up man this is crazy regardless of who fought it was 
these men should have handled this way better. This should have never even happened. And then these dudes on the outside don't listen to these dudes, Sonetta and them, man. They are part of this shit. I wouldn't be surprised if they agents. They are part of, just like Vocab Malone, they are part of trying to condemn us, man. So they just jumping on the opportunity to condemn us. But you want to know what? At the same time, we deserve it. Well, I say we because we supposed to be brothers. We supposed to be one people. So we as a group, Hebrew Israelites, one camp, the Hebrew Israelite camp, um, we deserve it because of this folliness, man. So with that, I'm going to say salvation to the election.